Hello and welcome to this learning video. In the last learning video, we have seen what is mathematical expectation and variance for the joint distribution, followed by covariance and the coefficient of correlation. Here in this learning video, we are going to see the properties of covariance and also we are going to prove these properties of covariance. So let us see what is this properties are. So the properties of covariance, we have three different properties under this topic and we are going to solve, uh, we are going to prove these topics, uh, these uh, properties one by one. Okay, so let us see first of all the proof of first property. So what is the first property that we have? Sigma xy. So you can just write uh, three golden words in mathematics. We know that. So what we know? We know that sigma xy is equal. What is sigma xy? That is covariance of xy. And by the definition of it, you can write the covariance of xy as in terms of expectation. So that is expectation of x minus mu x, right? x minus mu x into y minus mu y. That is from the definition of covariance, right? Now, just solve this. So can you write this one as? So you can write uh, this as expectation of, what is it? Just solving the bracket, xy minus x into mu y minus mu x, that is expectation of x into mu, uh, mu x is expectation of x, minus minus plus mu x mu y. Okay? So, now you can just separate the expectation and as you know expectation is of variable not the number so we will write this as expectation of x y minus mu y is a some value so and it would be like expectation of x into mu y likewise here mu x into expectation of y plus mu x mu y okay now this is expectation of x y minus what is expectation of x that is the mean we denote it by mu and because it is for the random variable x i will write mu x into mu y minus mu x expectation of y mu y plus mu x into mu y okay so this get cancelled with this and we remain with expectation of x y minus expectation of x into expectation of y okay you can write like this also also you can write like covariance of x y is equal to expectation of x y minus what is this this is mean value for random variable x that is expectation of x into expectation of y very simple proof is there for the first one now if this is clear to you we can go for the second one so what this second property says so i will make use of this only you yeah, see here if x and y are independent random variable then covariance of x y is zero right so if we know that so whenever we are uh, making a statement that we know that we know that ask yourself what we know so if x and y are independent variable independent variable independent random variables yeah then, then we know that expectation of x, y is expectation of x into expectation of y, right? We have already seen in the uh, earlier classes this thing, okay? So you can just uh, simply write for the second one, if x and y are random variables, independent random variables, independent random variables, 
then expectation of x y is expectation of x into expectation of y. So this covariance of x y is nothing but expectation of x into expectation of y minus expectation of x into expectation of y, and that would be zero, right? So let me write here the second property, proof of second property. Actually, it's a oral proof of this uh, property number two. Okay, so you can just uh, Okay, second one, we can decide from first property, from first property we have, what we have, covariance of x, y, that is sigma x, y, right, is equal to expectation of x, y, minus expectation of x into expectation of y and then we just have to write down this statement we are given that we are given that x and y are are independent are independent random variables just the matter of writing, the proof is already done, random variables, then expectation of x, y is expectation of x into expectation of y. Okay, say this is to be A, then A will imply what is it covariance that is sigma x y is equal to covariance of x y is equal to expectation of x expectation of y minus expectation of x into expectation of y okay that is sigma x y is equal to covariance of x y is nothing but c that is the second property okay now what is the third property before we take the third property let me may uh, let me make a remark over here uh, if x and y are independent random variable covariance is zero covariance of x and y is zero but if the covariance of x and y is zero then x and y may not be independent okay so converse may not be true then let me take the third property. So what was that? Variance of, yeah. Variance of x plus minus y is equal to variance of x plus variance of y minus covariance of plus minus two times covariance of x, y. Okay, so this is the property that we have. Now, uh, the, actually there are two properties. So out of the two properties, one I will solve and one you have to solve. Okay, so I am going with the positive note. So I will solve for variance of x plus one. Okay, you can solve simultaneously also both. Okay, but I want you to solve it uh, one more time. So just for the practice, that's why I'm solving it for plus and you will, you will solve it for minus. Uh, by the definition, by the definition of covariance, oh, sorry, by the definition of variance, variance of x plus y is equal. So what is variance of x plus y? Expectation of, yes, that's correct. Expectation of x plus y minus mu x plus mu y whole square right x plus y whole square right okay so that is definition of variance 
Therefore, variance of x plus y is equal to. So, you can write this as expectation of, in bracket you can write it like x minus mu x, right? x minus mu x plus y minus mu y whole square. Okay? Now apply a plus b whole square. So this is expectation of oh god. This is expectation of x minus mu x x minus mu x whole square, right? Plus y minus mu y whole square plus 2 times x minus mu x into y minus mu y. Okay? Now apply the expectations. So what is this? This is expectation of x minus mu x whole square plus this is expectation of y minus mu y whole square plus this is 2 times expectation of x minus mu x expectation of y minus mu y. Okay? Or you can just, uh, instead of uh, why you are doing this uh, expectation differently, because we want uh, covariance, so expectation of x minus mu x into y minus mu y. That would uh, give us the solution. So what is my variance? So my variance of x plus y, this is the definition of, this is the definition of Variance of x. This is the definite by the definition of variance. This is variance of y plus two times by definition. This is covariance of x y. Okay, so just we have seen the very simple properties of this uh, covariance. So I hope this is clear to you, and I want you all to go for the. Uh, property that is variance of x minus y okay so thank you for watching this learning video enjoy learning mathematics